Hi guys, it's good to see you again. I am going to be starting a new game. Um, I've had this one in my list a little bit, and I've played a little bit of it. I haven't played a lot. But I've seen different videos. I've enjoyed the little bit I've played of it. But I figure since it's very similar to Traveler's Rest and kind of the way that it plays, um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, uh, let me know. Give me a comment down below uh, if you'd like to see more of this or not. I mean, no big deal on me either way, but I'm going to load a new game. This is the one I played a little bit of. Not a whole ton, but I at least got the general premise for the game down, so it's not too bad so far. So let's go ahead and just start a new game. Uh, new game, and we're just going to go with the regular difficulty. Um, let me know if there's a way that you can play it on normal and it's easier or something, and then you get to unlock specific things, but I don't know about any of that. Uh, don't give me too many spoilers. I understand some simple premise of the game, but we'll go through that. Um, I'll probably be reading the dialogue too, so have fun. All right. Oh, that said loading. Loading. Amongst the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called the dun them dungeons, uh, strange ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. They named this city, whatever that name was, that started with an R. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were uh, soon closed as many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young, older, uh, young owner of the oldest shop, the Moonlighter. Long dreams of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. So yeah, your character, his name is Will in this. And so he is apparently diving into dungeons trying to collect stuff to sell. I actually really like the animation for this. Um, the 8 bit or 16, 32, 64, whatever it is, bit style of the character, it's not bad. Um, but they do add a lot of little details with the way the animations work in this, which I kind of like. It's pretty cool. Um, movement in this is pretty cool. From what I can tell, you don't really get anything from destroying these. But it's fun, so I might as well. Hiya. And right now I've got a broom. Uh, left trigger is the thing to jump across these. Hi. Oh, yeah. I forgot I die if I do that. <laughs> I don't think you can damage that guy at all. Oh, yeah, because I can't even attack right now. I forgot about that. This is just showing you how to dodge and the simple movement mechanics. So nothing too crazy. Hiya. Hiya. I might have to go get him. He's supposed to be going down for a nap but he apparently wants to have his own ideas of what to do. Cool. I learned a little too late how important um, the potions were, so I do have a little bit of experience with this. Um, not a ton, but I have a little bit. So I got the basic premise of how to do certain things. I can't access my inventory right now? Well, that stinks. Ah. Holy moly! I forgot these guys came up out of nowhere. Oh. I think this is a part where you're supposed to just die. I don't think you're supposed to survive in here. I could be wrong. 
but to my knowledge that you're not supposed to because then it spits you out. But uh, one second. Sorry about that. Oh. And then this guy, Xenon. I'll do a voice for him because I'd like to. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. If you like how I do voices, then let me know. But I kind of do that, but I also, you know, I play D&D &D and stuff, so. I do voices for that. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious about the dungeons. Yes, all my paperwork. All the notes I've taken. There is no doubt you carry the, old, the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy! What are you doing in my house, old man? Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. That's the uh, store, if you guys didn't know. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life... This fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake... I... Uh, whatever. Stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. <laughs> I like how he pulled on his weird... Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if you can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather. So many years ago. Alright, so let's get to it. I have nothing in the chest, and I can't open it right now. But, yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice the mirror there. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. I will in a minute. I want to look at myself. Oh, yeah. Look at that hunk right there. Oh, yeah. Well, first things first. Oh, I can't. That's dumb. All right. Come on in, people. I can't change anything. Darn it. Hi there. I'm glad that you like the price. Get up here. There you go. Did you see that? Best expression you could hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not as cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if it's a f if his prices were fair. And then this one's way too high. So, I don't remember if he actually ends up buying it or if he just leaves it. Uh, I think he just, yeah, he leaves it. I don't think you need to know how to tell, uh, need to tell, I don't need to tell you that your item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Finally, be careful after selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher prices when something is, uh, is high in demand and low in supply. coffee. Take out your merchant notebook and 
It should hold all of the information. You have gathered undiscovered wares and artifacts. Thank you, old man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. All right. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. It's best to head off. You can pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy! It's kind of how I imagine this guy's voice. Go on now, these weary bones of mine must rest. Uh, you won't let me back in my own house? <sighs> Grumpy old man. All right, well, let's go. All right, so let's see here. Oh. I see that goop. That goop to the entrance. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Ta-da! And I know that these maps change every time, so they will be different for every f one of the floors you go on. And I didn't find this out, but actually B is how you get back with your pendant. I still can't access my inventory here? That's so weird. Hiya, hiya. Got him. And it took me forever how to figure out how to dodge this guy. And I'm still not the greatest at it. I still sometimes get hit. But the difference is, is now I can at least have a better idea of what in the world to do. But whenever I was doing that... Um, I was able to get... To certain bosses and things, but um, I just didn't quite understand. Like, there's that one of them in here, and I just was like, "How in the world do you beat this guy?" But I'm sure I'll figure it out. It might just be that you need better armor and things like that. But I had no idea. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I, I fared better than he. He caught me by spying. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this: a map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete, done gone, made his, uh, lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them um, linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeon. The fifth door of... Rhinoka, maybe? Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever finds uh, me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door to right. The fifth door of Rhinoka. Um, those dungeons are not what they seem. All right, I appreciate it, Mr. Skelly Man. Big Boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me interesting map and then hold B to get out of here oh yeah it won't let me leave I just 
just gotta do this. Get engulfed by goop. Thank you. Now I gotta do the old man voice again. Oh, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact, finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Mm. Uh, what are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... You found old Pete? Mm -hmm. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now I notice some posts on town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Indeed, yes. Not quite the same, but it's okay. Thanks, old man. And he just disappeared. Man, that move that guy moves fast whenever he gets off camera. investments and got these two people and then you got these three but I have no idea how to find them right trigger and then you have upgrades for I think your house shop and different things but that's about all I know all right old man boy I know cause I've seen better days when your grandpa first opened moonlighter people from all over the lands would come to visit the shop the hustle and bustle was constant, but now? Thank you, old man. All right, well, first things first. I'm going home. And I'm going to drop the price on this. Boop. All right, now. Ow. Roots. If I remember right. I can't remember exactly. It was... Something like three or four or five each. I can't remember. And then this was three each, I think. <sighs> I love that little boy. I'll have to go check on him in a minute. But first, oh, oh, yeah, this is the map good whole day to go to sleep and let's go to sleep perfect now I woke up today we're gonna have a day where we're gonna run the shop because I got stuff in my inventory and then we'll go from there All right, I know he's gonna take that crystal because uh, it's around the same price as what it was before, and they like that. And then I can't remember. Okay, so that's a good price for that. Thank you. Ah, so I can upgrade that. I can't remember if it's that. it's 10 each I don't remember a hundred percent selling all my cheap stuff first there you go good sir yay making money there you go my lady I can't remember if that was a good price or not. Nope. Uh, let's make it five. 
He should want the seaweed should be fine. Herb, grass, plant fibers, whatever it is. Is that better? Okay, good. Now the this stuff was the stuff that I am not 100% sure on. I think it was about 25 for some of those. These I don't remember, but I'm going to start out 20. And then these I don't have to change because those were good before. And that was just a little bit based on what I kind of remember from some of them. Okay, so that's still even too cheap for those. I'll remember that. There you go. Thank you. Okay, that's a good price for that. Now, if I remember right, these were fairly expensive. I can't remember if it was more than that. And I'm sure I could look all this stuff up, but I don't really feel like it. Um, those were pretty expensive, too. So let's go to 75. Water Sphere. And this, I do not... Let's try 50. And go from there. Because I do not remember that one at all. There you go, good sir. And I can adjust some prices based on what I want, or what it's going to be. Oh, that can be... Both of those can be sold for more? Man. There you go, my lady. There you go. If I remember right, it's like three. And I think I'll take one of these, because I... I haven't ever sold one. Now, I'm not sure on the potion, but I know that the potion is about 150 to make if you have the red ingredient, but it's about 400 if you're gonna just buy it straight out. So we'll kind of see, maybe different whenever I'm selling it here. Because if that's the case, I could even just, if I had a bunch of red goop, I could easily make money. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so this is too high. Let's drop it to 50. Mm. Okay, so I need to increase the price for that. That's still too high. So let's drop it to 30. Oh, my eyes. Oh. As you can tell, I haven't done a ton of stuff with some of this. So he'll buy it, but it was low. Let's put it at 100 and see if that does any better. That's too low. Okay. Cool. And then that should be it, because I'm going to be done. Perfect. I made some money. Got a little bit more clarity on some of the stuff. Okay. Let's take... Oh, I can only do one, or a five at a time. Interesting. So, let's see here. I know that they have the little... Like, where it has that, but I don't know if that means, hey, at this point it starts being this expensive or what it means by that. So, 100 gold is too cheap. 
So maybe put it at 120. And then three was too cheap, so put it at about four. Oh, maybe five then because of that. And fabric, that was too cheap. Um, oh, because I didn't actually end up, yep. Uh, I sell that for more, sell that for more. Sell that for more. I did send that, but it's probably going to be like 25, but also the popularity is kind of low. Wet stones, I have some, had some, but I don't, yeah, roots. Yeah, yeah. And then I think that is everything. Perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do, let's go to the dungeon. And we're gonna go in, do a run. And then we're gonna end this episode there. Hiya! Ouch. Ow! That was smarted. Ow! I have wondered about the shield, how it works, like with, like to what extent. Because I know that the shield will protect you, but I don't know how much, like how, what kind of attacks does it protect? Oh, can I do that? That's interesting. I did not realize that the shield could knock him back. That's pretty cool. Ouch. Oop! Wrong way. Ouchie. And I know this one doesn't really give you a lot of, like, experience and stuff. I don't think that this one has that kind of leveling up. It's all based on skill, to my knowledge, and um, equipment. Uh, so... Ow. Get off of me!
I feel really dumb. I forgot to unmute my mic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit of gameplay there. Just normal stuff. They were discovered not far from this place. Okay. A small and incredible charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once. But no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around one entering. A unique maze for each person. Never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now you're getting into metaphysical things and brain stuff that I can't comprehend right now. But now these. These are the questions. Many um, right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding their inha the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside. Just for some gold, some fame. But not I. No, it's all about the questions for me. Where do these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasure? And I'm here for the what? I'm here for the how and why. Okay, good to know, weird guy that, you know, random person. Alright, and I think that's the end of it other than go fighting a boss and I'm not... I've tried to fight him many times. Like, I can't say many times. About three times... And I failed multiple times. So yeah, but a bunch of fun. All right. So my thought here is I am going to bring in this lady. It only costs five hundred, and I'm gonna make some potions. Well, I'll probably make some potions next time because I don't have a ton of money right now. I don't want to have enough in order to get back because I didn't realize certain things. But I do have this, so. Petals, cool. Um, you want to know what? I will have enough to do that based on what I've got in my inventory to sell. Eris. Oh, a customer. My apologies, it's just this book. It's so good. Okay, yes, I am Eris, Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hat when you need a potion or enchantment. I didn't know her store was called the Wooden Hat. Cool. What can I do for you today? Potions, thank you. Alright, and so this one's 400 to just buy one, but since I've got some of these, I'm going to do two, and that's going to cost me 250 and that's going to put me back up to five. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, why do you have an exclamation point? Oh, is it because I haven't looked at this yet? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, it's because I haven't looked at all the stuff in the inventory and that you don't there we go okay cool and so now we have that I am back up to five potions which apparently is the max wonder if you can get more later but since we have that it's the beginning of the day all right so instead of doing that I am going to call this one an end Thank you guys, and thank you for kind of going through with all of the stuff that I'm trying to figure all this out. Hopefully you guys had fun and enjoyed it, but uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.